With all this talk about fake science, anti-science, pseudoscience, or science for an agenda, let's take a moment and go back to the nature of science and answer a not-so-simple question. What is science? Science is exciting, useful, ongoing, global, and based on evidence. And evidence can be repeated test results, conclusions made from other discoveries, like inferences from the fossil records, as well as many observations by a community of people and scientists. There are two main categories of science, pure science and applied science. Pure science is science for gaining knowledge and applied science is applying that knowledge to solve a problem. Today we will focus on pure science and think about the nature of science. Pure science is for reason and understanding alone, no regard for practical applications, just learning to learn. Demonstrating pure science can be as simple as a child's game. For example, you're at a restaurant and you watch a child with his mother. The child has a small toy and is throwing it off the side of their high chair and watching it drop to the floor. The child giggles as the toy falls to the ground and mom quickly picks it back up and places it back on the tray. The little boy throws the toy again and without fail, the toy falls to the ground and the game is repeated. As the child is playing this game, he is making observations that will lead him to predictable outcomes about other objects in the future. If those outcomes under the same conditions can be predictably repeated and they have not been proven false, they become a scientific law. A law, when objects are under the same given conditions, hands us a statement that tells us what things will do and attempts to predict what will happen. By now, the baby understands that the toy will fall to the ground when dropped, even though they don't know the names of the laws that make that action occur. The laws don't tell us why this happens. It is a theory that gives us the all-important why the toy falls to the ground each time it is dropped. Theories explain why something happens. Builds understanding of concepts from research to refine the theory when new evidence is found. Sets clear boundaries that would prove the theory false. A quick example from our playful baby. If gravity is not existent, then when the plastic toy duck is dropped, it would float up to the sky instead of fall down and be an observation to prove his prediction false. And a theory is rigorously and repeatedly tested by many members of the scientific community to ensure it is still the best explanation to the question, why? To communicate the knowledge about the natural world gained from pure science, scientific laws, which are accurate predictions of what something will do, and scientific theories, the explanation of why it happens, are used. However, pure science does not make moral judgments if something is good or bad. Science cannot tell you if something is pretty or ugly, doesn't tell you how to use the knowledge gained, or draw conclusions about supernatural or philosophical explanations about knowledge, reality, and existence. It doesn't mean these things are not important, because they are, but these things are not scientifically testable, and therefore, they are not answered by science. the scientific community continues to make observations and test ideas about the natural world, like ecosystems, they will continue to build knowledge, set up experiments, and identify evidence that would help support or reject ideas when they are tested. Once evidence is gathered, things like research from a lab, observations, and or computer-generated models, the evidence will be shared with the scientific community and either fail or withstand public scrutiny. But in any case, it will further other ideas, questions, and discoveries that lead to more scientific research. Thanks for visiting with us today. For more information on kindergarten through 12th grade science education in Arizona, please visit the Arizona Department of Education's Science Standards page or the Science Resource page.